Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and we are going to continue on with the rigging tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we created the legs. We created IK legs so we can actually get the character to uh, move down. Today we're going to be working on the spine. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go to the side view. And uh, let's go into rigging. And of course, we want to use our skeleton and create a joint. And uh, most people want to put the joints right in the center of the body, but I actually like to do it similar to the human body, which is mostly towards the back. So by holding down shift, just make sure you hold down shift so you can get six joints all the way up. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Now they're not too even. So let me reduce their size here. Let's click shift, shift on that. Let's go ahead and reduce the radius to 0 0.02. You can actually, whoops, that's too small. 0 0.2, there we go, that's better. And let's go back over here. Let's take a look at what we have. So keep selecting the mesh, it's driving me kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and grab our mesh. So we noticed that I keep selecting it by accident. So let's go ahead and select all of our mesh. I'm gonna click on this little guy right here and this is going to be, uh, Calico Geo. Geo, and then I'm going to say LYR for layer. This is going to help me when I click on this right here twice and I get an R for reference. Therefore, now it is just uh, a reference and I won't be able to select it by accident. I'm also going to go to the show and turn off the lights. Not just hide the lights right now. It's not really turning them off. It's just because it's I prefer the neutral gray background. All right, so the next thing we want to do is um, you'll notice that the joints all have a um, kind of like an X coordinate. And I also want this to be even. So if I select these three or these joints, and I actually only need six, so I'm deleting that one. I uh, select these. I can actually just type in a value and start getting something more accurate. So if I do 0.4, for example, you'll see that that's a little too small. So maybe 0.5. And I guess it's going to be somewhere in the middle of 0.45. There we go. All right. Now that I have that, let's go ahead and just reorient the joints just to make sure everything's going the right direction. So let's go to skeleton and orient joints. Doesn't seem like much happened, but I think we're going to be good there. Okay. If we try to delete the transformation center, the history or center, the pivot and, and freeze the transformations, you're not going to get anything because it's not really going to work. What we need to do though, is create uh, curves to be able to control her body. So again, this is a very simple rig. So, um, let's go ahead and grab a circle and we're going to grab this basic circle. And if we hold down V, that should help. And sometimes you might want to move the circle. Now we want the pivot to remain where it is, but we also want the circle to be here. So the, ha the fancy way is to right click control vertex on the curve, select this. And of course it selects the joint. So let's turn this one off and might as well turn off that one and try again, right click control vertex, select this. And then if I scoot this forward around the middle of her body and I say object mode, you'll notice that the pivot point remains where it's at, but the curve has moved, which is really, really nice. All right. So this is going to be my spine. I'll call this lower spine control. I'm going to duplicate it, move it up. I'm going to snap it to the middle here. Duplicate this and move it a little higher around here. And because it's a little distracting, I'm going to go ahead and go to control vertices and just move it up just to kind of keep it a little bit even. And let's go ahead and call this mid spine. And then upper. Now let's get rid of the numbers. We don't need these numbers. Control. Control. Okay. Select all of these curves and we're just going to 
freeze the transformations. We're not going to center the pivot because that would screw it, uh, up what we did. You can delete the history if you like, but definitely don't center the pivot because then that would move the pivot to the center and that's what we're trying to avoid. Cool. So similar to what we did before, what we want is for this pine to rotate when we rotate this object. So we're going to uh, select the curve, then select the spine. And let's activate this. Constraint, and let's go ahead and do parent. Make sure maintain offset is on and add. So what's going to happen is when I select this, it's going to move the spine. So we're going to do the same thing for the other ones. Select this. Select the joint. Uh, constraint, parent. And same thing happens here. Now the issue comes when I grab this one. You'll notice that the other one doesn't move along now. But that's because I can select this one and this one and then press P. So now this is a child for this one. So when I move it, they all move. And then if I grab this one, this one moves. So this is really nice because it gives us that flexibility. Okay. This one, um, I'm going to shape a little bit different. I'm going to grab the control vertices again, turn off the spine. And let's go ahead and shape it because this is actually going to be more around the torso. So I'm going to grab these front ones and just kind of move them down a little bit. Make sure that it, uh, it it's going to be easy to understand, but also easy to grab, right? Because that's going to be important when it, for animators. That looks OK. Let's go ahead and object mode. And same thing, we're going to grab this one. Shift select the joint. Don't forget to activate it again. And then constraint parent. Right? So now if I move this one, it's going to move all of that. Great. And then we, of course, have to parent it. So grab the child, which is the, which is now the parent. This is going to be the child of that one. And hit the letter P on your keyboard. And now we have a spine. Oops. Oh, let me try that again. Where did I go wrong. All right, it should be lower, mid, and then upper. So if I select the lower, so I can, you can middle mouse and drag, by the way. So if I grab the lower, um, it should be first, then the second, and then the third. And there we go. We have a spine. Cool. So how do we combine it all together? Because I actually want this to follow along with the rest of it. So I'm going to actually parent it together. So I'm going to select the first joint, which is, and then shift select the root joint, and then click the letter P. So that means that this, this is now a child to the hip. So if I grab this guy, now it'll move. Now, of course, I'm having the same issue, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to grab this one, click on the hip joint, and press the letter P. And now when I grab it, I can move this and the spine's going to go with it. And now I have a lot of flexibility. So if you take a look at your outliner, you have your root joint and then you have your lower spine and mid spine, and then you have your upper spine. And actually the upper spine is usually called shoulder. And now we're starting to get a, uh, a rig that's coming along. So we have um, a lot of things. We've got the legs going on. We now have the hips are working. We now have, we can get it to move like this. We've got the spine working. And the next part is going to be the arms. Um, actually, let me test it. It's always really important to test this. Let me save. All right. So it's always really important to test it. Select, um, I don't have anything special. So we can always go to select. All by type joints. Then we can select the body. If you want, you can select the head too, just so it doesn't look weird. We can just kind of bind skin it to see what it looks like. And now we can see the effect. I can actually move her, ignore the hair, the weird hair, and now she looks like an alien. Um, her spine moves. This part moves and this part moves and they all work together. So great. Obviously the arms are a little funky, but the good news is, is that everything's working. So I'm undoing. I don't need to have this uh, binded right now. 
and we're ready to go to the next part, which is going to be the arm. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, this is just a basic FK spine uh, with some basic controllers and we're ready to move on to arms. By the way, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. If you find this helpful, always click the little subscribe button and it'll be even more helpful if you click on the little bell so you don't miss anything. Also take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you get free videos, free eBooks, training videos and free models. I've got a lot of really great stuff for you guys. So please check it out. Subscribe to um, my newsletter so that you can get a little bit of swag and also find out what's going on with the channel and myself. Uh, thanks again for listening. Keep creating. I look forward to seeing your stuff and I will see you next time.